Who's a good boy? <laughs> you know who's been a good boy for the Blazers? Who? Duop Reed. Yeah! <laughs> He's been a really good boy for the Blazers, and the Blazers rewarded look, him. Look, I'm supposed to be objective and honest and or fair and all these things. I'm happy for Wop. Hey, he's Wop's got a- such a good dude and escaping from war-torn Sudan. The stuff that he's had to go through, through refugee camps and growing up in Australia, playing in uh, – all over, all over the world. All over the world. Playing in Jordan, playing in China. He's played in Lebanon, China. Oh, sorry, Lebanon, not Jordan. Serbia, yeah. Australia. <laughs> yeah, no, dude and, has chased it. He's in had, America. Yeah, he's had four different opportunities in Summer League. And he has said that this was kind of his, like, his last chance. And it was v- very clear at Summer League, like, this is an NBA player. Like, it was, when you're kind of all down there, like, dude, this, this guy can play. Like where 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 has this guy been? It was like Lebanon. That's where he's coming from. It's like, wait, what? Look, and that is one of the things where you sit there and you go, some guys are just you have to grind for a lot longer. And mm-hmm. a lot of guys give it up and they're say like they say it's not working. They have all those knocks go against you, things aren't going your way. And Or you go get your overseas well, check and call it good. Do up breathe has done an incredible job of continuing to grow his game. And he may be a twenty eight year old rookie, but the Blazers signed him to a standard three year deal. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming it's for league minimum. It'll be above that. <laughs> Just a little bit a hair it'll, above it'll, it. It'll be above that. So the Blazers had their MLE because they didn't use it at all. Uh, and after trading for Banton, they had, by my math, about $3.2 million to play with. I would imagine he probably got about three of that. That's good. I mean, and that is... But that allows for, like likely bonuses that the Blazers might have to still carry over and not get hit with uh, the tax. And I think like this is exactly what Duop Reith is. He is a guy that he can be a rotational player. Yeah, he's a, you, he's a solid backup big. You do not want him to be a focal point of your yeah. team, and you're not paying him that way. Yeah. You're getting him on a good deal. You you committed to him, and he's reciprocating in kind because you there would the be teams that would yes. be going after him. They wouldn't be giving him like 10 or $15 million, no. but there would be competition for the Blazers yes. to sign him in that 3 to $6 million range or whatever yeah. it may be. I know for, multiple teams that were, were, would would have been interested in chasing him in free agency and this season. So you, you have a guy who, for the next three years, you get him in, what, he'll be 31 when this deal expires. And you can go, all right, you know, if you do well in this, we'll give you, a, you know, a couple more years because and, and reward you a little bit more. It's a it's a smart move by the Blazers. I'm glad that they did it when they did. In in Duop Reith, that's awesome, and it, I think it shows you a little bit about how he feels about Portland. Yep, and there, there's some loyalty there because he did get the opportunity with the Trailblazers. That's cool. And the Blazers have been working on this for a while, and I, I I had heard that there was there was a little bit of fear that they may not be able to get it done because he had been playing so well. Because it, for Wap in his age, he was going to if he didn't get this deal, he was going to go to free agency, and there were going to be multiple suitors, and the Blazers. You know, they, they could have been left standing. and But, you know, the, the Blazers gave him that opportunity and, and, and WAP is if not anything loyal. And I think he recognized that the Blazers did give him this opportunity and from very early on. And the Blazers were able to get this deal done. And this is this is smart business for both sides, in my opinion. Could WAP have gotten maybe more money uh, in free agency? Unsure, but I, I would lean towards probably – Probably now the money hasn't been disclosed, but I have a general idea of what it was. Well, yeah, and it will. Well, it'll be interesting to see the structure of it yeah. too, and and what the pay if there's player options or team, team options, options or, or guarantees or anything. Yeah, between. all all of yeah. that stuff that can go into it when you have it's a, a, a twenty eight year old rookie. <laughs> and it's not going to be know? a big deal in the grand scheme of things, but it'll allow for certain maneuvers mm-hmm. for both the team and for WAP and, and kind of how those things line up. But it's just good. It's a good deal for both, and I'm happy to see WAP get get this deal. Well, and after the Blazers getting their asses handed to them last night, <laughs> you can go into the All Star break on a little bit of brighter note. Oh, right? Yeah, that was over early. Sweet fancy move. It, it was already four early, to fourteen, and then, it, and then it wasn't, and then it was. And they did. They they kept they fighting. Battled, they battled back, man. And they, but you saw Minnesota came out, and they, they were like, "We're not playing with our food." No. We, and they sent a damn message. When Ant Edwards has one fewer point than the Blazers as a team after the first quarter, you're like, "Hmm, not going to be a great night." Yeah, forty four fourteen. It was. Yikes. And the thing is, this was not a wow. The Blazers are playing terrible. It was this Minnesota team's really good. 
really good. Now, I, I mean, I'm, Blazers weren't playing well. <laughs> no, I, I, but I think that they're, they're not playing well was more about what Minnesota was doing to them yeah. than what the Blazers weren't doing. And, and I think that this kind of goes to, and there's rightfully so, a lot of negativity surrounding the Blazers right now. They're not good. They've won 15 games in the All-Star break. It's not a fun thing to be a fan of a team like this, but what we saw last night is what we've been seeing over the course of this entire season. They keep fighting, and they're they're playing hard. And I think that is a bunch of guys that are not just pushing their chips to the middle and saying, all right, we're done. We're either we're going to win this hand or lose it. They keep scratching, clawing, and they, they, they get their stack built up a little bit over the course of the game. And then, look, at the end of it, they don't have depth. They, they just don't, they just don't <laughs> and have, they don't have playmakers. Yeah. And boom, they, they end up losing at the end. They're Ta-da. fighting, though. They're fighting. We did get more news out of last night. Those scoots starting now. <laughs> How long are we going to have that for? I think probably the rest of the season. Bargain. You think that's going to be a full-on move forever? Forever. Because he looked comfortable coming off the bench. He did, and he looked a little little disjointed in his first shift, which I think has probably helped contribute to that first quarter. But I thought the rest of the game he played very solid. He did. He played I. Played I. All right. So. Um, and that's talking Blazers. Hmm.